which email address looks more professional to you? This one over here or this one right here? If you pick this one, I agree with you. And that's because this is a business email address. Notice how it has a domain name included in the email address. And if you want your business to come across as a professional one, you need to have a business email address. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a business email address for absolutely free. So if you're ready, let's get started. Apart from making you look more professional, a business email address will also allow you to create shorter email addresses. And you don't have to worry about your preferred email address name being taken as well. So you can have your name at domain name.com or you can have hello at domain name.com. Anything you'd like, you have a lot more possibilities with a custom business email address. And using a business email also makes you appear more trustworthy. And every time you send an email out, you're also gaining more exposure for your business. And now for this tutorial, the first thing you'll need is a hosting plan with a good web host like SiteGround. It's very common for web hosts these days to have at least one free email account as part of your hosting plan. With SiteGround hosting plans, you'll get unlimited free email accounts for your domain name. If you're looking at getting a new hosting plan for your website, you can definitely check out SiteGround because they have some great offers. Alternatively, Google Workspace is also a great premium option if you're looking at getting a business email as well as access to their whole suite of products. All right, let's get started with this tutorial and I've just logged into my SiteGround account and this is what it looks like within the dashboard. Here you can see all the websites that I've currently got registered with SiteGround. And it's gonna be very similar with any other web host as well. All you wanna do is go into the settings of your hosting plan and find the domain name that you wanna create an email address with. So this one right here, yasbsf.com, and it's currently registered with this hosting plan we see here. And all we have to do is go into the site tools if you're on SiteGround and click on that. And that takes us into all the settings related to that domain name. And what you're looking for is the option to add email accounts. So if I look on the left-hand side here on this menu, we have email right here. So if I expand that, we also have email accounts. So let's go ahead and click that. And right here, this is where we can begin adding a new email account. So right here, we can select the domain we want to associate this email account with. And right now it's set to yesbsf.com. It's the exact one we want. And down here, this is where we can enter the name of that email account. So right here, you can enter your name, like the example right there, jsmith at yesbsf.com. You can say something like hello at yesbsf.com. Whatever you like, you can enter that here. For this purpose, let's go and type in contact at yesbsf.com. So I'm just gonna type that now. Just like that, contact at yesbsf.com. And on the right-hand side, we can enter a password for this email account as well. I'm just gonna do that now. Just like that, that should be fine. And just make sure to keep note of what that password is because we'll be using that later in this video. And once that's all filled in, we can press create right here. And there we go, that email account has now been created all for free as part of our hosting plan. It's really as easy as that. And right now we have our email good to go. As you can see, we have 512 megabytes of allowance with SiteGround as well for that email account. But currently, if you wanna check your email or send emails using this account, you have to go into webmail right here. I'll show you what it looks like. And this right here is our webmail inbox for that email account we just created. Now this one works really well and it's really easy to use too, but we wanna make it even more convenient for you. And I'm gonna show you how you can link this email account we created to your Gmail account. And that way it'll be a lot more convenient for you because all the emails that go into this inbox right here will also be forwarded into your Gmail account. And that way you can take a look at all these emails within the Gmail inbox rather than coming to webmail right here. And this setup will also allow you to create new emails and reply to emails using the business email account we just created, but all within your Gmail account. Let me show you how to do that. So first we're gonna close this webmail inbox. We're gonna leave this tab open because we'll need this information later on. And I'm just gonna go log into my Gmail account. And from here, we wanna go click on settings. And once our settings bar drops down, we have to click on see all settings right at the top. And from there, we have to click on the accounts and imports tab right at the top. And here you'll see a bunch of different options, but the one we were interested in is check mail from other accounts. Here you can go and press add a mail account right here and that should pop up with this window here. And the first thing we have to do is enter the business email account that we just created. There we go, contact at yesbsf.com. And I'm gonna press next right here. And what we're doing is importing emails from this other account, top three, we can press next here as well. And now we can begin filling this in. But first, let's go back into SiteGround on our email accounts page. Right at the bottom, we have that business email we created. And on the right-hand side, if I click on here, and go into mail configuration. We have a couple options here. We have auto configure and manual settings. Let's go into manual settings here and we see all the email settings for this email account. And we can use these to fill in that pop-up window from earlier. And even if you're not using SiteGround, you should still be able to find 
You have mail configuration settings inside the email accounts menu. All right, now that we have this, let's open up that pop-up window once again, right here, and we're gonna fill this in. So username is right here, contact at yesbsf.com. So I'm gonna select that. And the password is gonna be the same password we wrote when we created this business email account. So I'm gonna write that in here as well. There we go. And next, we're gonna change our pop server to yasbsf.com because our server right here, yasbsf.com. And we're also gonna change the port over here to 995 because it's a pop three and our pop three port is right here. The last setting we wanna check is always use secure connection SSL when retrieving mail. I'm gonna check that here and we're gonna press add account. There we go, that was really quick. Your mail account has been added, it says up there. Next, we have an optional step right here, which I recommend you do as well. Yes, I wanna be able to send mail as contact at yesbsf.com. What this will do is allow you to draft emails as this email address right here, your business email, all within your normal Gmail account, which is really cool. We're gonna press next. So the first step here, we have to enter the name right here. So this will be the name that will show up on the emails that you send using this account. I'm happy with that right here. That's my name there. And email address, that's gonna be the same one. And we're also gonna keep this checked right here where it says treat as an alias. All right, and we're gonna press next step here. And over here, we're gonna change our SMTP server and we're gonna type in our domain name once again, just like that. Our username is gonna be contact at yesbsf.com, just like that. And once again, we're gonna enter our password as well, like that. And we're also gonna change the port right here into 465, which is our SMTP port. There we go. And we're gonna keep it as secured connection using SSO. We're gonna press add account now. All right, so now it's sent a confirmation email into our business emails inbox, confirming that we wanna connect it to our Gmail account. All right, so if I go back here, I'm gonna close this and back in our email accounts menu, we're gonna open this right here and we're gonna log into our webmail once again. And inside webmail, you'll notice this email right here, Gmail confirmation. If I open that up, we see a link right here that we can click on to confirm our connection. Alternatively, you can also copy this code right here and enter that in the pop-up window right here. But the easier way is just to click on this email link here and that will open up a new tab right here that says, please confirm sending mail as contact at yesbsf.com. We can press confirm right here. There we go, confirmation success. And if we go back into our Gmail settings, we have that account added in right here, send mail as, we have contact at yesbsf.com. And we also have that right here as well, where it's gonna check our email for us. So it's all working, it's good to go. Now, if I go back into my inbox, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into another email account and send an email to my business account. And if everything's working as it should, that email should end up in my Gmail inbox. Here we are, this is my second backup Gmail account. What we're gonna do now is draft an email to contact at yesbsf.com, which is our business email address. And for the subject matter, I'm just gonna write in hello. And for the content, I'm just gonna write, this is a test, just like that. And that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna press send right now. There we go, our message has been sent. So if I go back into my yesbsf Gmail account, right here, if everything's working as it should, we refresh our email. And right there, there it is. This is the email that we just sent to our business account. And now we can see it all within my Gmail account. See, as you can see here, it's a yesbsf at gmail.com. And inside here, we can see this email. And right here, if you look closely, you can see that the email was sent to contact at yesbsf.com. So it was sent to our business email account and it has successfully ended up in our Gmail inbox. So that's working as it should be. And next, I'm gonna show you how we can draft a new email or reply to this email as contact at yesbsf.com, which is our business email account. So if I go compose right here, and that pops up with a new message right here. And you might notice up here, we see our email address with a little drop down. So if I drop that down, we have two options right here. We have yesbsf at gmail.com, which is this Gmail account. And we also have our brand new business account that we just connected to this Gmail. So if I wanna use that, I can just click on this and our emails are going out as contact at yesbsf.com. And here it will show the same name that we entered when we connected this business account with our Gmail account. All right, next I'm gonna send it to my backup Gmail account. I just wanna check the name, so this right here. I'm gonna copy that. Here we go, I'm sending it to my second Gmail account as a test. I'm gonna call it hello v2, just like that. I'm gonna leave it blank and I'm gonna send my email now. There we go. Again, just to confirm, I'm sending it as my business email account, not my Gmail account, and I'm sending it to my backup email address here. Let's go ahead and press send. And there we go, our message has been sent. 
And now if I go back into my backup email account and refresh my inbox, there it is. We have that email right here. And if I open it up and check who it's from right here, contact at yasbsf.com. And there you have it. We can draft new emails and reply to emails using our business account all through Gmail. As you saw, it was really easy to set up and it's working perfectly. If you had any questions or got stuck anywhere along the way, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out as soon as I can. And that's it for this tutorial. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here, and don't forget to check out even more of our WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.